spiritual growth. I come to a point where the word of God governs my life. We are going to pray two prayer points. Number one, we are going to say, Lord, I'm tired of unbelief in my life. Whatever is making me not to believe you or take your word seriously and as final in my life, I declare that let it be taken away from my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I wrestle unbelief violently from my life. I'm tired of doubting your word. When I share your word, I find myself wrestling. Is it true? Can God really do what he says he will do? I'm a believer. I'm a spiritual man. I'm a believer. I grow up in the spirit. Make sure you are praying. Man to Unbelief. The word of God takes you out of my life. I believe in the word of God. God is not a man that he should lie. God cannot lie. He's not the son of man. Even if the word of God does not produce result, I still believe it. Make sure you are praying. It will make you mighty in the things of God. Don't take this lightly. Hallelujah. 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 If you have your Bible, you are going to hold it as you pray. You are going to say, Lord, your word governs every area of my life. Every. Listen. Some of you, you really need to pray because the word of God is not governing certain areas. You are not working in consistency with God's word. It may be in the area of character. Your words, you speak as if you are not born again. You behave as if you are not born again. You know the things that are wrong and there is grace for you not to do them. But you keep doing them. We are going to pray. You will hold this word and say, Your word have I hidden in my heart, O God. I receive grace. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I hear. I'm not moved by my feelings. I value the integrity of God's word. Above and beyond any report. I believe the report of the Lord. For my health. For my prosperity. For my family. For my life. Lift your voice and pray. Man press kapa teke le bara bara ba. Shete kete kete bela le bosa. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. The Bible says, speaking about Abraham, in Romans four, he said, "I'm being not weak in faith. Weak in faith. Weak in faith." considered not the deadness of Sarah's womb, nor himself even though he was a hundred years old he counted him faithful can I tell you something, you are going to pray and say Lord I receive grace, I won't be weak in faith again, I won't be strong today and act like a believer and then tomorrow I'm falling like a leaf lift your voice strong in faith giving glory to God I'm strong my convictions about God are solid my convictions about his word solid no bending no wavering I refuse to doubt God hallelujah hallelujah now in one minute every one of us is going to confess what you have found in scripture the, the bible says Luke 4 
from verse 16 he said it was given to him and he found the place where it was written concerning him have you found where it has been written concerning you i found it for myself you are going to speak now concerning your finance concerning your health concerning your destiny are you ready to speak are you ready to speak lift your voice and begin to speak i'm blessed in the name of jesus don't keep quiet i'm blessed the word of god tells me that i'm the head and not beneath my path is as a shining light it shines brighter outside make sure you are praying brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the favor of god compasses me as a shield in the name of jesus the lord is my shepherd i shall not want the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i choose life life i refuse death i have no covenant with death i'm healthy and strong no inhabitant of zion shall say i am sick i enjoy the health of god if that same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body that same spirit will quicken me pray no headaches in the name of jesus no malaria no typhoid no pains no aches in the name of jesus even if you are sick declare it by the power of the holy ghost the name of the lord is a strong tower i am protected i am covered in the name of jesus i'm well favored hallelujah koinonia is blessed from one level of the anointing one level of grace one level of power the abiding presence of god is with us we are a separate people we are a distinguished people i step into honor it's my year of supernatural exploits exploits in every ramification by the power of the holy ghost i'm not alone god is working with me confirming my words with signs following i'm well favored i'm well favored i'm well positioned to meet my destiny help us i'm well positioned the word of god is working for me i have spiritual understanding i'm above demons above principalities in the name of jesus i have authority no devil can stop me from manifesting my destiny is great my destiny is colorful i'm fruitful on every side fruitful on every side blessed in my going out blessed in my coming in blessed in my going out blessed in my coming in blessed in my going out blessed in my going in the works of my hands are blessed everything i know my hands to do i prosper the bible says and whatsoever he doeth prospers i have an unction from the holy one i have understanding i'm not weak i'm not beggarly i am great i have a great destiny in the name of jesus i am prosperous i am blessed the hand of god is upon my life i am distinguished i am favored on all sides hallelujah